create an impact. I'm going to talk a little bit about these people. This is a people, they have done 20 or more pounds. And I'm really proud of them because we already saw the 10 pounds people, right? Those are baby steps. It takes a little baby step, like they say, to start, to get your first five, to get your first 10. And you have to work on your homework, which is your cardio, your classes, your exercise on site, and you have to be careful with your food and, you know, applying the right dynamics to it. Now, when you come to do 20 or more, then I'm gonna let them describe exactly how you achieve that. Because it will take more work, maybe, right? More discipline, but what else are you doing to contribute to those 20 pounds? Because that's what people wanna hear, right? Because I'm sure that you're there. Come here. And I'm sure that you're there thinking, okay, I've seen the people that have done 10, and now these 20, I wanna hear how they did it, okay? So I'm gonna let Jinani starting. I would say to the, I would say thanks to Josh. It's a, if, if it is not because of you, I wouldn't have lost this much of weight. And regarding the diet, normally in the morning I will have uh, two egg whites and then an apple. And for the lunch, uh, probably oats or uh, quinoa with uh, the daisy curry. For the evening snacks, I will have a couple of oranges and then uh, while before going to the gym, I will have a protein shake. And in the night. Uh, just some fruits or something. What do you think about what was important in the process of exercising to achieve those 20 Yeah, exercise is important and uh, along with the exercise, whatever the diet that you have suggested, if you follow the diet properly, then yeah, it will definitely help in reducing more weight. Next person, uh, Swati, she has done how many? 22. Thank you. So I'll just share two things. One thing that I've learned is anything is better than nothing. So even if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, whatever it is, that is better than zero minutes. Um, so you're already better. Even if you did one minute more than nothing, you're better. So that's one thing. The second thing I would share is <clears throat> this has to be a way of life. Um, as long as we make it seem like this is something we have to do in addition to our life, it will always be difficult. Um, so I know most of us don't eat the way the food that we're eating today. Um, we eat different. We come from our cultures are different, right? We, we don't eat this food. Uh, but the important thing is to understand how we can strike that balance so we can still eat what we eat. We've grown up eating, enjoy it, but then in moderation so substitute brown rice like he said and all of that so i think that's the key so as long as you integrate that into your life instead of doing it in addition um, it'll become much easier and bandana bandana how many have you done so far i lost uh, 20 pounds over a year um, i would like to mention that um, Definitely losing weight is hard, but at the same time, I know that it's not impossible. And if I am healthy, my family is healthy, that's the best asset I can pass on to my kids. In a way, Josh has helped me in uh, achieving my goals. I know that I can do um, 20 uh, sit-ups, 40 sit-ups, but reaching up to 100, 120, it's it's the Josh who pushed me that, yeah, I can do it. Um, the same thing with sit-ups, pull-ups, and squats. That was hard, running the whole round of the Richwoods. It's hard, but it's not impossible. So if we can, if we can inculcate the habit of eating healthy and pass on the kids, it will be the best thing we can do. Thank you, Josh, for um, achieving me my goals. Yeah, so my journey... I would say it's a long and hard. It was not that easy because definitely I'm very, I'm busy with kids and all that stuff. Josh always asked me to come for extras. Zenith, you can't lose weight until you will come for extra and I never get time for extra. So sometimes I just, you know, try my best to, to achieve my, my goals and whatever he says. The only thing I learned during the entire year that um, stop looking at the weighing machine. That's the best thing to help yourself. Because we never know, sometimes we have a water retention, hormones, anything, what, whatever is going with the body, we never know, we have organs. Sometimes whatever happens and our weighing machine is showing more weight and you feel that, huh, 
a week before I was something else. Oh no, I don't want to do it anymore. I mean, it's not, it's worthless. I'm working hard and it's not working. But I think, and then I read in a Google, I, I, I asked a couple of people and I find out that you know, weighing machine is the last thing, the last option you have to go and look for. Always go for the inches. If you are feeling that you are losing your, your clothes, or if you are feeling more strength, if you are more stronger, if you can run more, if you can put more time on the steps, you are doing good and you are getting better. So that's, and the second thing I learned, water. As much as water a one person can drink in an entire day, it will help you to reduce so much. We cannot even think about it. So water helps a lot to reduce weight. So that's it. Well, <laughs> my, I, when I started with Josh, I lost like 8 to 10 pounds right away within like one and a half month. And then I, and then I remember you gave me, Josh brought as, as a motivation, he gave me a balloon and a, a, a small gift. And I was looking, I said, I mean, what's the big deal I have done? It's okay, like 10 pounds. And he said, no, it's a big deal. You did a good job. And then we started for the next 10 pounds. It was almost close to impossible. <laughs> it was not going down. I was like, Josh, it's not working. What should I do? I have done everything. I think my body is like that. I don't need to do anymore. But definitely he was keep encouraging me. He was keep sending me those text messages. He was keep calling me super girl, super mom. You can do that. And so much motivation behind that. And of course, I will be thankful for that. Because if I won't get those messages, I will not, I will not be ready for next day. So that, that helped. And then I remember one day that I, I quit all of my sugar and all of my carbs. And I'm a very sweet tooth person since childhood. So my body, that was a shock for my body. And one day I just fainted. I, I, I just finished my workout, went home. And my sugar drops down and I, my sugar dropped down. And I didn't know what's happening with me. And I called my neighbor and I said, what's happening? I mean, you know, it's not something is wrong. And then we restarted and we, we started following the other directions that we went to the other direction that he told me and I decided myself that I will bring one protein shake with me. So whenever I will do a very hardcore workout, I will use my protein shake. So I will take one sip of protein shake or two sips after 20 minutes of my workout, little bit water. So, so we, we start thinking our own strategies. So everybody is different. Everybody is different. It's not like I lost 20, somebody lost 30. We all going to the same journey. No, we have to know, we have to listen to our body. That's the most important thing. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for your hard work.